Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be cleaning and protecting my 12-foot recreational kayak. This is a Eddyline Skylark, and I'll be using SuperClean to do the cleaning, and SuperClean provided this product to me for free, but they're not compensating me for this video, and they're not reviewing it before I post it. And had they not provided this, I would have used it anyway, because this is what I like to use. To protect it, I'll be using a 303 protectant. A couple other things I'll be using, I have a towel cloth here, and a magic eraser thing. So I'll put a link in the description to some of these products, and if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get closer and take a look. So I've got a lot of dust and grime on here. The bottom is especially dirty. You can see there's a lot of dust on it. I also have these rub marks over here. A couple here too. So actually the first thing I'm going to do before I start getting this wet is I'll take my leaf blower and blow the inside out from the underneath. So I have it upside down, and I'll blow it in there and try and get all the sand out of there. And I have these propped up on two plastic sawhorses. I find those are great for holding up a kayak. The leaf blower I'm using is my Ego blower. So I don't suspect that got all the sand out, but it probably got quite a bit of it out and I'll probably have to vacuum the rest out later. So now I'm going to wet this down with my hose and then I'm going to spray it with Super Clean and I'll probably avoid putting a lot on where the labels are here, and, but I'll coat most of the bottom of the boat. Here's an up close of the dirt here, you can see. So I'm wearing gloves to protect my hands from the cleaner, and I'm outside so it's well ventilated. And they recommend a three to one water to super clean ratio. So I wet it down and I'll spritz some super clean on it. That should give me a little bit of dilution. I'm also using spray as opposed to stream on the bottle. Now I'm going to use a wet towel to wipe it. I'm not going to press hard, I don't want to grind any dirt into it. Okay, so now I'll rinse it off. Okay, so you can see here the Super Clean dissolved all that grime and it was gone almost immediately. I barely had to wipe it, but I do like to wipe it a little bit just to make sure it penetrates slightly better. It doesn't work well on these marks. These are from my rack. So what I like to use there is the magic eraser. Okay, so I have the magic eraser wet. And you have to use a little force with this. Okay, so I'm not going to film cleaning all that. That'll take a little while. I'm going to flip the boat over. So I'm going to clean the top the similar way I did to the bottom. Okay, so I have most of the outside done. I have a couple spots I want to touch up, but on the inside here, we see a lot of dirt here, and there's also a lot of dirt kind of down below here. So right now, if I were to spray my hose in here, this could fill up with a tremendous amount of water and become super heavy, could collapse my sawhorses or fall over, wreck the kayak, you name it. So I would not do that. I could turn it upside down and spray it, but the water will collect down here, and right here, let me pull up a little bit. There we go. Right here are foam pads, and I don't want those to get soaked with water. I mean, technically they can because this is a kayak. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my towel and I'll wet it with the hose, uh, wring it out, wipe this off, and rinse it, and repeat that a couple times to get this dirt out of here. This is a kayak. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit dirty, but I do want to get the grime out so it doesn't wear out the plastic.
Okay, so those are the main steps I take to clean the kayak. I'm going to touch up a couple detail areas, uh, finish cleaning the bottom, and I'll let this dry, and then I'll meet back up with you to put the protectant on. Okay, so this is mostly dry, but I'm going to go over protecting it so I don't have to wait all day to finish my video. So I have the 303 here. I'm going to spray this on and then wipe it off, and you want to wipe it dry and even buff it a little bit. That gives you the best protection. So this is essentially sunscreen for your boat. So you want to do all the handles and focus mostly on the plastic that's going to be exposed to the sun. So I'm going to put most of my effort into the top. I'll also put some on the bottom because I do car top it. Now if you store it outside, you would definitely want to do a very good application of this, although I would really think it'd be best to cover it with a tarp when you're not using it. So here's the part I just did. It's very shiny. When I'm done, I'll probably take a dry cloth and buff the whole boat with a clean dry cloth. So I'm not going to film the whole thing, but I'll finish up this and I'll close out the video. Okay, so I have the top protected. I'll finish it later on the bottom. So I want to go over a couple things. I made sure to get this uh, protected here. There's a couple spots I missed cleaning, but I'm not super worried about that. This is some paint. Uh, this sits up against a wall. This is some paint that rubbed off on the kayak. I could clean that off, but it's not bothering anything, so I'll leave it there. You want to make sure you do some protectant inside here and on the seat too. And then also make sure you protect your paddles, uh, the plastic portions of your paddles. If you have a metal shaft, you don't have to worry. But like if you have fiberglass, carbon fiber, anything like that, you want to make sure those are protected. Also, I wipe it around the bungees. Now the thing about the bungees is those are pretty easy to replace down the road if they do crumble and get dry. These are well over 10 years old now and they're still in pretty good shape. I don't know what those cost or how hard they are to get so I would protect those little plastic bits there and make sure you do your hatch cover. Shouldn't need to do anything inside your hatch unless you know, the cover comes off a lot. So that's it. So this is all protected now and you should probably do this at least once a season. It depends on how much you use it. You know I hate to say you should do it once a year or twice a year or every two weeks. If your boat's in the sun a lot you want to make sure it stays protected. You might do a deep cleaning once a season and then protect it every couple of weeks it's in the sun. And you can read the container for the advice from the 303 people. So again, I'll put a link in the description to the Super Clean and the 303 and some other things. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.